afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Hi, my name is Eve Cullinan. I'm the county administrator. Welcome to Willingboro. We're very excited today and so pleased to be here at this gorgeous weather to open our new park today. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Taylor Design Group and Eagle Construction who are both here today. And it's my pleasure to introduce Freeholder Director Felicia Hunt. Felicia Hobson. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It is such a pleasure to be here. My name is Felicia Hobson. I am the Freeholder Director. And I just want to welcome you guys to Willenboro. I am super excited. Um, this has been a long time coming, even it predates even before. I got involved, so I just want to thank everyone. Listen, we've got a lot of information here to share with you guys, so I'm going to go quickly. Uh, Willowbrow Lakes is, is more than 105 acres of improved parkland. It's, it is the fulfillment of an idea that was brought to our board and our county government, and we hold it dear and dear. Here in Burlington County, we're lucky enough to have the absolute best park system in the state thanks to county farmland and open space. And we want to thank everyone, particularly the Department of Environmental Protection Green Acres Program. So we thank you again. We've used the open space trust fund dollars and funds from Green Acres to develop more than a thousand acres of parkland over the, in over 50 miles of regional trails that our entire county can enjoy. We have another 2,000 plus acres of parkland in the draw, on the drawing board for future parks and trails. I encourage everyone to walk through some of our county treasures, Amico Island of Pennington and see the breathtaking views, views of Rancocas Valley and Delaware River. I invite you all to our County Agriculture Center on Saturday where weekly farmers markets and opportunity to grow your own fresh vegetables and plants are in our for your community gardens. See all the history and the Victori Victorian wonders of the historic Smithfield. There are special places that contribute a huge amount to making our county a wonderful place. And it's great for our residents to live and work. And we are so proud to be here. During our ongoing coronavirus pandemics, we've seen just how important living outdoors can mean and being outdoors rather should mean to our residents. All of, this, all of this is why we welcome you and we're so excited for Willingboro Lakes. Thanks to the partnership between Burlington County, the Township of Willingboro, and the State of New Jersey Green Acres Program, we have another special place where residents can come and relax, hike and fish, canoe and kayak. So we are extremely excited about this new environment and our community. Take a look around. This is our new home, one of our new county parks. It's perfectly wooded in county's most, most one of the most important areas in Burlington County, which is our beloved Willingboro. So we say thank you again to everyone who took part in this. <clears throat> we are grateful for your partnership. This is one of the reasons why county government exists for, for, for projects like this. We're here to make our lives better with accessible parks that let, parks that let residents, re, um, regardless of where they live and work, can enjoy the beauty of our county. Places like this one. We took the best park system in New Jersey and we made it even better for our residents to enjoy. So thank you to everyone who's helped, ha helped ha make this happen along the way. You all did an amazing job and it is my pleasure now to introduce Deputy Director Tom Collier. Thank you all. Thank you, Director. Um, this is kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, when I was uh, director last year, Mayor Nock and uh, Councilwoman Jennings uh, called me on the phone and said, you know, Tom, we've been, had a project in, in Willingboro that's been stagnant for a number of years, and we jumped on it. Uh, and as the director said, with the help of so many different people, this is a reality now. And I think you should all be proud because this is probably one of the finest parks in Burlington County right now. Uh, I'm Deputy Director Tom Pullian, like our esteemed director said. We've waited a long time for Willingboro Lakes to open. I've been involved with local government for 25 years, and this park has been in various stages of planning, design, and development for nearly as long. It took 
with a lot of hard work and teamwork by different levels of government, Burlington County, Willingboro, and the state of New Jersey, to get this park project from the drawing board to reality. But that's what our residents expect from us. We all need to work together to get things done. Looking around, it's hard to believe that all of this was once just plain old country forest. The lakes were recreated created the turn of the century following sand excavation here. Workers extracted tons of pristine Burlington County sand to use as fill for area construction projects, including the Philadelphia subway system. Eventually, these two large lakes were formed, creating the perfect attraction for folks from across the county and region to come for a full dip or to sunbathe or boat at what became Olympia Lakes one of South Jersey's most popular commercial recreation parks. Eventually, Olympia Lake's popularity declined and the property was later targeted for development during the 1990s housing boom. A partnership between the county government, Willingboro, and New Jersey Green Acres resulted in the preservation of the land, but it wasn't until 2019 that construction work started to transform the property into the outdoor gem you stand in today. It took a lot of vision, patience, and hard work, but the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here, and the park is even better than we ever imagined. It is a park that the residents of Willingboro and the entire county can be proud of and enjoy. I'm so thrilled we are able to finally bring it to a reality. As I said earlier, it's an example of what our different governments can accomplish when we work together. Burlington County is a special place. In one county, you can travel from the banks of the Delaware River to the shores of the Atlantic. We have old company towns like Roebling, suburbs like Willingboro, our firm farm belt in the Pinelands and the great Grand Cocos Creek running straight through our center. Our county is committed to helping our towns grow and develop while also preserving the royal spaces and history that helps define us and attract people to this county to begin with. This park is an extension of that promise. So thank you to everyone involved in the creation of this park. And I encourage all our residents to come here and see it for themselves. You won't be disappointed. Thank you. At this time, I would have uh, Freeholder Hines make some comments. Thank you. So I'm only two pages. <laughs> Good afternoon, it's such a beautiful day. So if you don't know me, I'm, I'm Linda Hines, I'm one of your Burlington County Freeholders, and I serve as a liaison for the Department of Resource Conservation and your county park system. So it is such an honor to be here. As the director said, Burlington County already has the state's best park system, so we already know that. And now we have another asset right here at Willingboro Lakes. We all know that convenient access to safe outdoor, rec uh, outdoor recreation is very important. Now that's even in our best of days. During the pandemic, I think we can all uh, account for that the fact that we have all taken a, a different perspective in reevaluating our work, our family, getting out and enjoying. So what better is there to cure cabin fever than all of this? Now, I have to geek out a little bit. So, this park is home to more than 100 different species of birds. <laughs> you may be even, even able to spot a bald eagle, an osprey, or an egret. And if you don't know what an osprey or an egret is, certainly Google it so when you're out here and you catch a glimpse, you'll certainly know that, oh my goodness, I just saw that. Now, I've been told, although I do not have personal knowledge, that you may be able to spot a silver fox or a river otter. And hopefully you'll know what they look like, so you'll know. And if you do, please tell me, because I don't have personal knowledge of that. There are close to three miles of loops throughout the park, and it's really important to know that we use different materials so that we have asphalt, stone, and wooden planks. Because not only is it important that we are all able to enjoy it, we want all residents, even our disabled residents, able to come out here and enjoy this perfect park. Now, going off a little off script here. So why is it so important that we open this park now? Our freeholder board has put diversity and equality on the forefront as no other board has before. So this is Willingboro's Park. This is a safe place where people can come and quite candidly you can come look for birds and not worry about some small-minded individual calling the police 
California. This is our park. I'm inspired by Felicia. She usually gets me. <laughs> She's told me it's okay to go off script and say what you think. And you know what? That's exactly what I want to do because that is why this is so important today. That no one is going to look at you odd. If we're out, we're all going to be out here enjoying it. It's our park. It belongs to Willingboro. Page two. <laughs> this only works, this amazing park system only works because we have the tremendous relationship with Willingboro Township and your amazing recreation department so that we are going to be able to bring fishing derbies and bird watching clubs and nature hikes and picnics. We are going to showcase this absolutely beautiful spot. So it's not enough just to have this beautiful spot here. It's not enough that we've added to the county park system. We need to get the residents out. We need to make sure that they have a reason to come out here. Maybe they are not ones that would typically go for a walk or go look at birds, but let's bring them out here. Let's give them a reason to come out here because this is simply stunning. So I plan on making that my mission. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a marathon runner. So I will be doing a lot of loops around here. <laughs> And I hope to see many of you here. And if you spot an egret or an osprey, you'll show me a picture of it. Um, so at this time, I've, I've boasted about our fantastic Willingboro Township Council. And it is an absolute pleasure, the first time I've ever been able to do this, to introduce Mayor Wood. Good afternoon. Oh, that was sad. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here. Yes. The Willingboro Lakes Project has come such a long way, and I am so grateful for the leadership of Freeholder Director Felicia Hobson and the, the outstanding work of the county freeholders. Thank you so much. And I would be remiss if I did not thank Mayor Emeritus Martin Knott, Mayor Emeritus Jacqueline Jennings, who are here with us today. Thank you so much for your leadership, your perseverance, and really staying with the county, working through that strategic partnership to bring this project to life. As you know, from what has been shared, Willingboro Lakes, that project sat on the shelf for many years, and yet here we are today. From this space being an underdeveloped area with lots of potential to a destination location for our residents and for the rest of the county residents to enjoy. It looks beautiful since old trails have been cleaned up and new trails have been cleared. With the construction of the fishing piers, a nice sized parking lot, accessible restrooms, and a pavilion styled eating area, this welcomed attraction to Willingboro will be warmly received by all. And speaking of going off script, this park <laughs> responds to the cries of residents who are looking for places to recreate. They're looking for more places to recreate. The children are looking for new paths, for new trails to explore. So this Park responds to the cries of our residents right now, today. Willingboro Lakes is a great start to what's to come in Willingboro. Expect more attractions, more economic development, and more amenities as we continue to build the Willingboro our residents desire and deserve. Thank you again to everyone who made this project a success. Oh, okay. 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 O